All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about uh, image overlaying in OpenCV using Python. So we're going to first talk about what is image overlaying, why do we need image overlaying, how does image overlaying work, and then jump into some coding examples. OK, so what is image overlaying? So here we have a Tesla logo on my kitty. So that's a perfect example of picture overlaying. So the idea is you place one image over the other image. So here we call the first image the background, and maybe the second image is the logo. Okay. So why do we need image overlaying? Sometimes you might want to put watermarks on your picture, or for AR applications, or just for fun, like I'm doing here. Okay. So there's a lot of different reasons why you might want to do it. So how does image overlaying work? So the steps required is you need to create a mask. And then you might want to remove the background from the cat. So here is all black, so it's kind of hard to see. But uh, if you look at this picture, you can see that I removed the Tesla logo. And then after that, you need to create the new image with the logo on there. And then you put it on to the cat. Okay, So that's the basic steps. And we'll show you how it looks like in the code. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and import some of the modules that we need. So import CV2 as CV, import OS, and then import matplotlib.py plot as PLT. Okay, so I'm going to have image overlay. And then if name equals main. So inside my image overlay, that's where I'll do my stuff. Um, let's call this function here. So inside, we're going to go ahead and read our file. So os.getcwd. And then we have our image path equals os.path.join. And paths and roots. And we have our demo images images and then cute pick one dot jpeg and i'm gonna do our read function cv dot um read and then we have image equals cv dot cvt color and we're gonna do some conversion cv dot color and bgr to rgb okay so we're also going to read our Tesla logo. So Tesla logo path equals os.path.join. And then we have our root. Uh, the location is demo images. And I called it Tesla logo.png. So Tesla logo, I'm going to do cv. I'm read and then pass in Tesla logo path. Then I want to get the height and width. Um, it's going to be Tesla logo dot shape. OK, so that's my shape. And then our scale factor is going to be 1 divided by 4, because I want it to be a little bit smaller. So our new height, I will overwrite it. And then we have to cast it by int. I guess it only takes int values. And we do the same thing for the width. OK, so that's for our width. And then we have our Tesla logo. And we're going to call our resize function that we just learned. So cv.resize, and then pass in our Tesla logo and our new width and height. And our interpolation method. We'll just choose cv dot inter linear. Okay, doesn't have to be that precise, so we're just we'll be good with that. So our Tesla logo mask is going to be the Tesla logo, and because it's already in black and white for our image that we're using, we're going to go ahead and just use one of the channels, and then we could call that our mask. Okay, so uh, we're going to do plt. In practice, you could uh, do some bitwise operations to get it, but here we could skip that step. So plt.figure, we go ahead and start plotting some of the things. So we have plt.subplot, and we're going to put in the first one, plt.show. 
Let's take a look at how the mask looks like. And here we're going to do plt. Dot, um, let's just do plt.show to see it. And if I run this, we should be able to see our logo here. So this is our logo, and we'll use that as our mask. And then we have our plt. Dot subplot. Now we'll do our second plot, plt. Dot, um, um, show. And we'll plot in our image so we know what we're looking at. If I run this, we can see our image show up, which is the image of our cat. And then now we're going to get our image region. So the region that we want is going to be around the forehead where we're going to put the logo. So 156, 156 plus the height. So we need to first get that region and then do some modifications to it, which was we had to remove the background. We have 376 and then plus the width. Okay, so that's our new region. And just to confirm, we could plot it. Okay, PLT on show and then our region. So if I run this, we should see the region show up, which is the forehead. Okay, so that's the desired location we want to put the logo. And then now what we want to do is do some inversion, and then that way we could remove it. Okay, so we have Tessa called mask inversion, and we could use a bitwise operator. Uh, I'm going to do the bitwise not since I'm inverting my mask. And we'll show you how that looks like in a bit. But here we have image region. And then we'll call this black. So cv dot uh, bitwise and. So we're going to end the image region with the mask. Okay, and the mask is equal to the Tesla mask. And we're using the inverted part. Okay. And we do plt dot subplot two three four, and then plt dot um, show. I'm gonna plot the black region. So if I run this, you guys should be able to see the part blacked out. Okay, so we actually need to have uh, two arguments for the bitwise and just gonna doing it to the same image so put that twice uh, if I run this you can see you zoom in you can see this uh, logo we're actually removing it now okay so what we did is we inverted this to the black and then we and it we, we have the inverse of it and then we and it so we're removing that region Okay, so now, now that we removed it, we could put in the logo in that region. So I'm calling this image region logo. And I'm going to do cv.add. So we, now we can add in the logo with the region. So we have our black region plus our Tesla logo. And then we have our peel. Go ahead and plot it. plt dot um, show image region logo. So now if I look at this, we should see our logo pop up in the region. Okay, so now it's white. And then the final step is to put the new cropped the new region into the original picture. So here we have um, we're gonna take the image that we had here. We're going to paste it, and now we're going to set it equal to the region, okay? And then if I, if I run this, plot it, this will be our last uh, subplot, and now we'll plot our image. So if we take a look at this, we should see our new image and how that new image looks like, okay? So you can see now the cat has the Tesla logo here, okay? 
So hopefully you got a good understanding of image overlay. And if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.